we've been talking about circles, and we've talked about the um, we've talked about the perimeter, like the circumference around a circle is the same thing as the perimeter around any other figure. Today we're going to be talking about area of circles, and the formula we're going to be using is going to be the area is equal to pi r squared. Okay, and that's the same thing. Remember, we were talking about for circumference is cherry pies are delicious. Cher cher cherry pie is delicious. And then the next one was going to be apple pies are too. So that's a good way to remember these. If I'm looking at R, R stands for exactly what we talked about, the radius of a circle, which is going to be half half the distance across the circle. So pi can be either 3.14 or 22 sevenths. Either one is going to give you the pi value. The only thing you have to make sure is that you read the directions so that you understand which one of these two that you are to use, either the 22 sevenths or the 3.14. Remember, circumference is pi pi d, this means cherry pies is delicious, and you can write this somewhere on your, on your form, and apple pies are two, and apple pies R two. All right, that's the same thing as saying T W O, and R is the same thing as having an R there. Pies, apple pies, R two. All right, just remember those. But let's go ahead and do some of these. We are going to look at some of these on your paper here. First of all, all I need is the radius, and I've already know that if I've got a diameter, all I have to do is half that. If I have a radius and I'm trying to find a diameter, I just double that. Here we've got six meters for the radius of this circle. So I'm going to come up here and put apple pies r2 because that's the formula, and we're using 3.14 for rate for the our, um, pi. So I'm going to come up here and put 3.14 times 6 squared. That does not mean 6 times 2, that means 6 times 6. So that's going to be 3.14 times 36, and that answer is going to be 113.04 meters squared, because it's meters is being measured in, and it also means that we're finding the area, so that's going to be area, that's going to be meters squared or units squared. Here I've been given a diameter, so to find the radius, I want to find half of it. So this half right here is going to be 4. So now all I have to do is put in area equals pi r squared, pi being 3.14, 4 being squared is not saying 4 times 2, it's saying 4 times 4. So that's going to be 3.14 times 16 is going to equal to... 50.24 square feet. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and do the number three, and then I'm going to let you try these bottom ones down here. 13 centimeters is going to be the diameter, so what is half of 13? Let's work with not fractions but decimals. They're easy to work with. Half of 13 means from here down. If this whole diameter is 13, I can divide 13 in half, and that will give me 6.5 centimeters. So area equals pi times r squared. Pi is 3.14 times radius 6.5 squared. This is going to be 3.14 times radius squared here is going to give me um, let's just go ahead and I'm going to give you the whole thing if I put it in my calculator like that. My whole area is going to be 132.665. There's a decimal right there. Centimeters squared. 
I'm going to go ahead and let you just take the time to do these bottom three. Make sure that you come back and you check and make sure that you've gotten them right. So just pause the video, go and try these three, and make sure that you've got the same answer I do when you finish. All right, this one has got a radius of 9.4, so area equals pi r squared, 3.14 times 9.5 squared, when I put that all in my calculator, is going to be 283.385 inches squared. That's a five. All right, I've given the diameter of seven yards. I know that halfway through from this point down is going to be 3.5. So my area is going to be pi radius squared, 3.14 times 3.5 squared. When I put the, all of that in my calculator, my area is now 38 and 465 thousandths yards square. Okay, here I've got a diameter of 12, but I have to use radius. So half of this is going to be six centimeters. So area, now I'm just plugging it into my calculator. Area equals pi r squared. I know that pi is 3.14. That's what we're using with these. Six squared will give me 36. 36 times 3.14 is going to give me 113 and four hundredths centimeters squared. Hope you got that. All it is is just plugging in to the right thing, making sure that if you've got a diameter, you're halving it to find the radius. Make sure when you're doing uh, circumference that you are doubling the radius if you need to find the diameter. And I'll see you tomorrow.